Um, today I am going to show you some weapons that uh, me and Jesse have been working on. Uh, basically, we're trying to figure out how to get a stationary cannon to go from the water up to space and be able to uh, barrage an enemy from space and pretty much not even close to being finished because we're still having some minor issues <laughs> with some things. But uh, basically, I'm just going to show you here what it does. There's uh, shit, I forget how many. There, there's multiple layers of metal. Um, now you see three layers of light alloy and then a layer of uh, metal. But actually, right here above the layer of metal, there's actually another layer of metal on the inside. I just accidentally did light alloy, light alloy for the exterior so we could. Uh... Yeah, so it could blow. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, here we go. You can see it now. You gotta give it a second. If it's turned on. I'm pretty sure it's turned on. Is it turned on? It's turned on. Did I activate it? Oh, I had control of the guns. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so... That's what it does. It goes through the almost the entire thing. Um, let's see here. I'm at layers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So about fourteen layers it just went through. So I mean, once we figure it out, get it to uh, the correct area that we want it at, it's going to be fucking overpowered. Uh, <laughs> Just, I think we should, yeah, there's the next one. Yeah. So, pretty much sheer destruction. Um, and that, I'm, I'm just kind of like, holy shit right now. This this is all HE rounds. Um, actually, here, let me, it's just firing H, high explosive rounds, HE rounds, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's, it cakes, so. Yeah, it's behind the cloud. Um. So honestly, yeah, that can be an issue. Oh shit, I need to turn it off before it fires again. <laughs> um. So many uh, stabilizers. Oh shit, where this? Uh oh, I didn't save that. I put stabilizers out on this, on all four ends. It helped it a little more. All right, so here's the ammo. <laughs> and shit. Can't really, uh. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's a centerpiece. Alrighty. So. Ammo going the whole way around it because I, uh. Oh, where is it? Great question. Where? Oh, it's not down here. Sorry. I got my own design, guys. <laughs> um. Six way connectors in the square, so we just connected these all and then have the racks and stuff on the outside. Then we got rail gun. The initial idea was to have a single barreled gun that fires, like, every. 5 10 seconds and apparently the gauges the 0.5 gauge is too big for the rack somehow like i made it so there was the two casings and then the two uh head pieces so there'd just be that that and these two i made it like that thinking that maybe you need to have it smaller for the size of gauge still wouldn't load so i have no idea what was going on with that so we just changed it to uh a six barrel. A three barrels work too, but I was having issues with it the other day and it was not working for me. Issue that I have with it is the sheer amount of feed things. This is filling up almost the entire length of it. Of course we need engines, so we got some decent engines and then a lot of shit. Because as you can see it's still loading in ammo. <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.